Hi, it's Derek from Coach's Corner and in this tutorial we'll show you how to set up a new session. After clicking My Sessions and Add New Session, you will be brought to our user-friendly software. Here we can move the pitch about using the arrows on the screen, zoom out or zoom in, or use the arrows on the keypad to move the pitch about. We can then add a variety of objects from our bottom menu, including male players, female players and goalkeepers, equipment and simple markers to show passes, movement or text to clearly identify a drill or we can change the angle, the colour of the pitch or our indoor futsal pitch. We will now set up a simple 3v3 plus one neutral small sided game to demonstrate the software. We will start by placing some cones. First select the cone you would like to place and our object is shown on the left hand side that we have it, it selected. Then click and place where you would like the cones to be positioned. Or an alternative method is to click once and drag to create a straight line of cones. And we complete our grid and we're ready to add some players. So we'll have one team in red. Playing a team in blue. and our neutral player in yellow. Now we are ready to add our football. And we can place spare footballs around the grid. Lines to show simple passes. And our drill is complete. Under the description tab we can place some information so it's easily filtered for future reference. So this would be a small sided game for seven players aged anywhere from 12 to 18 years old. It takes roughly 10 minutes and it needs a 20 by 20 grid. Here we can add some description of the activity, our key coaching points and potential progressions. When we are happy with the drill we simply click save. And the session planner will save our work. We'll then be brought to our session area. In our session area we have the uh, option of extending our session plan. If for example we want to continue from the last drill but add a small differentiation, we can simply click copy activity and the default is to copy towards this session or we can copy it to a previously created session. We can now see that this image has been brought forward to the second slide. From here we can edit the activity and customize to add the progression. So for example, this time we would like to add in some small goals. Again, we can change the description. So 3v3 plus 1 into rows. Again, if we're happy with this, we simply click save. And our session is complete. If we want to give the session a title, we can simply choose the title we would like to name it.
and a brief description. In this area we can choose to share. So we can share privately so no one else can see it. With teams that I'm a part of or with the public in our session library. If we would like to see how this session looks on a PDF format, we simply click Options and Download as PDF. Our session will now save. And our first page is a general overview of the sessions and then our following pages will give us more detail on the drill we have created. Thank you.